Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. A couple of months ago on my Instagram stories, I shared a budget friendly mousse only routine. I got these results and everyone on Instagram went mad for it. It's like the most engagement I've ever had on my Instagram stories. It was just so amazing that so many of you were going out and buying the mousse and getting such amazing results with it as well. It was just a real community feel. I really felt connected to all of you guys at that time. So I thought I'd bring over to YouTube and share a little bit more of an in-depth routine. So the mousse that I'm going to be using today is the Weller Shockwaves Volume Mousse. I have heard people say that they've tried the curl one and didn't get as good results as they did with the volume one. So I'm sticking with the volume one. I think I actually got it on offer for two for three pounds or something in Boots, but you can also get it on Amazon for £2.75 or £2.50. And these are the results that I got today after using it, amazing shine, a really good amount of definition for just mousse only. I'm going to stop talking to you about the mousse now and I'm actually going to show you how I use it. So let's jump into my shower. So I'm starting off by shampooing and conditioning my hair and so I'm just wetting it first, going in with the new Curl Smith Essential Moisture Cleanser which I'm really really loving at the moment and I'm just taking it through my hair, massaging my scalp, taking it through the lengths of my hair to remove build up, rinsing it out, massaging as I do so and actually repeat this twice twice because I like to do a double cleanse and then I'm going in with the conditioner from the same line glazing it over my hair and just really working it into my hair first before I do any brushing or anything splitting it into two for ease and I'm actually going to add a bit of water to each side just to help work the conditioner in I always add more water before I add more conditioner I'm actually going to add a bit more conditioner because I felt it needed a bit more before I could properly detangle so again I'm just working that in through the lengths of my hair, adding a little bit to the top section of my hair, and then I'm just brushing it just to help detangle, starting at the ends and then making my way through the lengths. Then I'm flipping my head forward and brushing it all forward with the conditioner in and rinsing it with my head flipped forward because this is gonna help as I go on to style. And now on to styling. So my hair is soaking wet. I've literally just rinsed all the water out and left it soaking wet. A little bit has dripped out. So I'm going in straight in with the mousse with my head flipped forward. I'm glazing it over the lengths of my hair, raking it through a bit. And you can see that it actually just disappears into my hair. So that is one of the things I really like about this. I'm going in with a bit more just because it, it basically just goes into nothing in your hair. It's very, very lightweight and airy like most mousses are. I don't find this one to be sticky at all either. So I can get away with using quite a lot. And because I am just gonna be using one product, I am using more product than I would normally use of one product, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm just raking it through and now I'm just brushing it through with the Tangle Teaser a naturally curly detangler. I'm now separating the back section and I always do this when I'm just doing my rake and scrunch method because I find that that helps give definition at the back of my hair, kind of stops it all clumping together in one big clump. Now I'm shaking to help form the clumps and I realise that my hair needed to be a bit wetter. This often happens when I'm filming. Usually I don't need to add more water if I've done it straight out of the shower but when I'm filming it can lose water quite quickly because I'm always faffing around. And I'm just scrunching it in now, just helping to really distribute the product and get the clumps together. And I've just flipped to the side and I'm shaking to loosen the roots, giving it a bit of a scrunch to release the roots as well. And sometimes I also need to add a bit of water when I flip up right. If my hair's dried out a bit and it just helps loosen the roots again and just gets my curls all clumping together. I'm adding a little bit more of the mousse with my head flipped to the side and scrunching in, making sure to scrunch right up to the roots. So lifting and scrunching really helps get the product up to my roots and also helps encourage definition at the roots. And I'm flipping to the other side, doing the same, loosening my roots, scrunching, and I'm also gonna apply a little bit more product as well. As I said, this is very lightweight for me. I really don't find it weighs my hair down and I can get away with using quite a lot, but definitely start off by using less because I know some people do find mousse can be a little bit sticky in their hair or make it a little bit dry. So yeah, just start off with less, maybe do 
two big golf ball sizes in your hair and then add more the next time or add more part way through drying if you feel you need a bit more. So I'm now just removing a bit of excess water with a curl towel. You don't have to do this step but I find that if I remove a bit of water and then add a little bit more product I get a stronger cast which can give me a bit more hold in my hair. So I've just done that now and I'm just applying just literally a very small amount more. But yeah just apply whatever amount works for your hair type it will be different for everyone. Removing some excess water also speeds up drying time, which we love. And now I'm going to diffuse my hair dry and I'll show you the results. And here are my results. So I've currently got some root clips in. Couldn't find two matching ones, even though I literally had them like two days ago. So I've just got whatever I could find in just to give me a bit of volume. But yeah, I'm really, really, I just love this routine so much. It's just so simple one product. It does feel a little bit damp in some places, but I'm gonna give it a little scrunch and fluff out because I don't think it should be too detrimental. I did have a bit of a cast from the mousse, which is normal with mousses and gels, as you know. And I just basically scrunched it out while I was diffusing my hair because I just find, one, it helps my hair dry quicker, and two, it basically skips a whole step of like scrunching out the crunch. Um, so yeah, but it wasn't like a really hard cast because I styled my hair on pretty much soaking wet hair I didn't get a massive cast but because I added a bit more after removing some water It would have given me a little bit more of a cast. So yeah, just scrunching it Just to remove any cast that's left in my hair Flipping to the side A little scrunch and fluff And there we go let me show you the back while it's all flipped backwards. So here's the back and here is the front. Ugh. So you can see that I've got a real good mix of definition, shine, volume, it's just so good, one product. It's not even meant for curly hair and it just gives such amazing results. If you find that it makes your hair a little bit dry, try applying it to wetter hair if you're not applying it to soaking wet hair and also try applying a leave-in conditioner or a curl cream underneath. I've tried it with the Curlsmith Shine Cream underneath and had really good results as well. So that's a pair that I know works, but obviously you can use a high street leave-in or curl cream as well. Hold-wise, as I said, you will get much less hold than you would with a gel. But if you want more hold, you could try it using something like the Bounce Curl Hairspray as a final step before diffusing your hair, and that will give you a bit more hold, make it last a little bit longer. But yeah, I just think this is such an easy, effortless routine. Um, high street product, budget friendly, loving it, really, really loving it. It's much faster, using much less products, and yeah, it just gives me more of an effortless lived in curls look, and I really, really actually like this look. So yeah, let me know if you've tried this mousse, let me know if you're gonna go out and try it. I know lots of you did after I posted about it on Instagram. So yeah, let me know in the comments. Let me know how it works for you. And yeah, as always, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give it a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you soon. Bye guys. Hello, so it's day two, and for full transparency, I thought I would show you my day two hair. So it looks a lot better on camera than it does in real life. I definitely do have a bit more frizz in real life. I'm not sure if you can really see it. It's a little bit poofy, floofy, a little bit more of a lived in look. As I said yesterday, maybe if I turn the ring light off, you might be able to see a bit more of like the texture. Um, but yeah, it's like, not my best hair day, not my worst hair day. It's mousse only, that's just what it is. It's not as good hold as I would get if I were using a gel, for example. But overall, for mousse only, it's really not too bad. I'm not gonna refresh my hair today because I don't have anywhere to be. I'm probably gonna go out for a walk, but it's quite windy outside, so I'll probably tie my hair up. I did tie my hair up in a ponytail yesterday, but just with the front pieces out. So that could have been one of the reasons why it's a bit more stretched out. If you are looking for more hold, then using a mousse on its own probably isn't 
routine for you. But if you want more hold, as I said yesterday, you can use a gel on top. If you want better definition underneath, like if you find your ends, see like how they're not super, super defined. They could be a bit more defined. Um, then using like a curl cream underneath would help with that definition and then the gel on top would help hold it in place as the days go by. It is completely normal for curls to stretch out, especially wavy curly hair like mine. But I did want to just show you how it lasted up in today too. And this is it. If I were to refresh, then instead of using the mousse again, I would probably use something like the Curl Jelly Refresh Spray from Umberto Giannini. You can see this is well loved by me. I really, really like this for refreshing. It's very lightweight. It's basically their Curl Jelly, but a sort of lighter version of it. I'm gonna have to put it on my hair now, aren't I? get rid of it but yeah I'm not gonna refresh today but if I do refresh tomorrow I'll probably end up using this very lightweight and it is a jelly refresh base so it's kind of like a gel it will give you a lighter hold than a gel though but yeah that is what I would refresh with I'll leave a link in the description below but yeah these are my day two results and I really hope that you found it helpful and yeah goodbye <laughs>